Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how to create a new project in Silk Central 17.5. First, I'm going to log in as the admin user. The default password for the admin account is admin. To create a new project, I'm going to select the project list. I'm going to select a new project. I'm going to call this project demo2. Uh, for the project description, I'm going to list this is a demo project. Uh, the project owner will be the admin account. Uh, projects in Silk Central can be active or inactive. I'm going to select this, keep this project as active. If I want to change the settings of the project, I would need to make it inactive. It is possible to make the project active and inactive at a later stage if required. For the project template, I have the option uh, to use an Agile project template, or I can select the option not to use a template. I'm going to select the option to use no template. In Silk Central, you can track issues that may occur when you run tests using the internal issue manager. You can also use an external issue manager like Jira, for example. Uh, if you wish to use the internal issue manager, you can initialize the issue manager uh, integration at this stage, or you can do it at a later stage. I'm not going to select the internal issue manager. I'm going to select uh, a few groups that will be assigned to the project. The location, uh, this will specify the locations that have, act that have access uh, to the project. I'm going to select that as local. The, and this has now created the new project, uh, Demo2. The next thing I want to show you is how to create a new product. Silk Central tracks the results of tests and executions in the context of versions and builds of one specific product. I would like to show you how to create a new product, then show you how to create new tests based on that product. To create a new product, I'm going to select Administration, Pro Products, Versions, and Builds. To select a new product, I'm going to select product. I'm going to call it uh, T2. I can create a description for the, pro for the product if I wish. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to enter the description. I can then select the product. Uh, new products in Silk Central are composed of components, uh, versions, and builds. When a new product is created, Silk Central automatically creates a new default version 1.0 and a new build, build 1. Now that I have created this new product, I'm going to create some tests based on this product. To do this, I'm going to go to Tests and Details here. Now I'm going, now I'm going to create a new test container. And for the product, I'm going to select T2. For the other options, I'm not going to populate them at this stage. So I have now created a new test container, T1. I'd like to create new tests based on that test container. I can just go here and create new tests as before. I can create, I can create the tests as required. These tests will now be based on the product. Uh, in this short video, I just showed you how to create a new project in Silk Central 17.5 and then how to create a new product. I'd like to thank you for listening and I hope you find this useful.